What's up you guys, Cece back with another video. And for today's video, we're gonna do our January favorites in five minutes. Really talking about corporate and productivity and just how we're advancing our careers, how we're thinking about our careers as black women in corporate America. So look, I used to do favorites videos all the time, every single month, and then, I don't know, I just lost my zest for them. But recently, I was like, man, I missed sharing my favorites with you guys. I miss sharing the products that I really love in one succinct video. So I figure, what if we try to do this video, but try to do it in like a short form style, right? I was gonna do a YouTube short, but your girl's way too long-winded to, to get all of her products out in one minute. So I figured we would do like a short, quick hit, maybe five minute or less video, showing you guys my favorites for the month. If you like that idea, let me know down below and I can keep doing it and we can continue talking about favorites. So let's jump right in. We're gonna first start with some stationery, of course. So um, Auntie Tab, Tabitha Brown came out with a new collection at Target and one of the things in that collection were these notebooks. So it's just a notebook, like a lined notebook paper, but I feel like the paper is so good. I swear to God, you guys. My pens write so good in this notebook, I love it. I've been keeping it with me just to jot down my ideas, like jot down content or real ideas or something like that as I'm like, I have, I keep it in my purse. I love this guy. It just says, take care of yourself on the front. Such a cute notebook, goes right with her theme. I love Tabitha Brown, so if these are still available, I would pick them up. She had food items, she had planners, all that stuff, so check it out. And then going along with that, I actually got these um, highlighters from Amazon. Are these not the cutest highlighters you have ever seen in your freaking entire life? Like seriously, they are these nude color earth tone highlighters. There's some light blues, there's some like browns, some pinks, some little light greens. Like these are the cutest highlighters and they highlight so well. I... I love these so much, y'all. Like these are just so cute and I love these little pastel-y earth tone highlighter colors. I have some more in another brand, but I picked these up. These were like 10 bucks and I, I love those so, so much. My last non-makeup favorite is actually this guy. This is my GoPro Hero 10 and I, so I've had this GoPro for about a year now and I usually only use it when I go out of town, but I've been trying to find ways to use it as I'm at home and not just only when I'm on a trip. So what I've been doing is taking it to the gym lately and filming my workouts. If you guys have not subscribed over on my fitness YouTube channel, make sure you check that out. But I've been using this guy to film my workouts and I can film for Instagram or TikTok. I can film for YouTube with this guy and the quality is just so good and it's so tiny and compact like look at it in comparison to my phone like if you want to be discreet about filming getting a little baby gopro is perfect because i mean the whole setup is just super small and it's really discreet no one even knows i'm filming and i love 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 this little guy so lastly, I have just a few beauty items. The first one being a perfume. This is the Commodity Milk Plus um, perfume. I want to say this is a unisex perfume. It has a very masculine, sensual scent. More on the masculine side, but I like it for me. I think it smells so, so good. It's a very bold scent. And so if you're not into bold scents, this probably wouldn't be for you, but it's just super bold, super masculine. And this has kind of been one of my favorite scents lately. I have been wearing it so, so much and it just smells so good. I love wearing it mostly at night. I feel like it's more so like a date night, kind of sexy scent, which is what I gravitate toward like when I'm going out. So I love that scent. Now moving into makeup, you guys. You guys, the makeup by Mario, um, what is this called? The Surreal Skin Foundation. I know you guys have seen this everywhere. I've done my own review on it, so check out that video. This one's in the shade 18W. This is definitely a favorite of mine this month. This foundation is so beautiful. It's very natural on the skin, and it's just like that your skin but better feeling. You know what I mean? So I love this foundation. Don't be alarmed. You can see like some sparkle in it a little bit. 
it. Don't be alarmed by that. It doesn't show up on the face like that, but it's just a beautiful, natural finish, skin looking foundation. And I've been mixing it a lot lately. And one thing I've been mixing it with is this new NYX Bear With Me Blur Blurring Tint Foundation. I'm in the shade number 13. And you guys, these two together are beautiful. This is beautiful by itself. Let me tell you, it blurs out the skin impeccable right it just blurs the skin so beautifully but mixed with other things like these two mixed together are everything i've been kind of playing around with different foundation combinations lately and this has definitely been one of my faves so love 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 that and then last but not least for this favorite oh no I have two more items. First one, let's talk about the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. As y'all know, I was running around the city looking everywhere for this. It was sold out everywhere. I finally went into like a little mini Target and found it. And I've been hooked ever since. I got mine in the shade number five, medium tan. And what I use this for is to mix it with my matte foundations. So any matte foundation, I've been mixing this with like automatically. And it just gives that beautiful kind of lit glow from within. In. I have the NARS Glow Booster, I believe it's called, and this is definitely a good dupe for that. So don't spend your money on the NARS, spend it on the e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter and you will be just as happy, I promise. And then last but not least, this is kind of cheating because I didn't get this to the middle of the month because that's when it came out. But I got the new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder and it's in the shade High Tide, you guys. NARS, if NARS don't do nothing else well, NARS gonna do some skin well, okay? They gonna do some foundations well, they gonna do some powders well, they gonna do some concealers well. This is no different. Very nice, soft, lightweight powder. You can't even feel it on your skin. Keeps me matte. It's really good for touch-ups. Like, look at the thin, just the really thin, um packaging it has that like standard NARS packaging but it's super thin so it can slip in your purse you can travel with it this is definitely going to be a staple for me like seriously this is going to be a staple so thank you guys for watching this video those are all of my favorites for the month of january again let me know if you like these little quick videos i don't know if we're gonna make five minutes but you know what we're gonna get real close okay and that's gonna be the format moving forward if you guys want to see any of these videos in a any of these products in a more in-depth video, let me know that down below as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.